Hey guys, Killswitch here. This is my last episode of my outdoor loadout. Today I'll be going over my BDU, my drop leg setup, and my gloves. So to start off, let's talk about the BDU. This pattern is called CADPAT, which is used by the Canadian Army and largely used for Canadian Airsoft players. A1 Tactical are the brand that made this BDU, and you get what you pay for. It's not an expensive BDU, but it does have some good features, including elbow and knee pad inserts, eight pockets on the pants, four on the top, velcro on the top chest, on the side of your arms, and on your collar. These are a rip-stop fabric, which is great for players that like to play hard and move around a lot, and so far I haven't ripped them yet. The downside to this BDU is that the color fades away after a few washes, and especially on the knees from kneeling and sliding on the field. Another issue in my case would be the pants size. They fit perfectly around the waist for me, but the lengthwise it's too short. To fix that, unfortunately, I'll have to buy a bigger pair of pants which would be a bit too large on the waist, but it would be long enough for the length of my leg. It's just something to keep in mind when you're looking for a pair of pants, to make sure that the length is right as well as the waist. I do recommend this BDU to anyone that's looking for this pattern because I know it's kind of hard up here in Canada to find it and for someone that just wants to have like a decent BDU. Now let's move on to the drop leg gear. It is adjustable by using Velcro where you can wedge and attach your drop leg gear from. From there we'll move down to my OD Condor leg holster which I really like. It holds your pistol obviously and an extra clip. I also have my knife tucked into the side because it's easy uh, for me to grab and it's secure. It wraps around your leg with one strap. You can also take off the holster and attach it to your tactical belt. I definitely recommend this for anyone that's looking for a good holster that can hold your pistol, an extra mag pouch, and maybe a couple things on the side like my knife. On my opposite side, I have this CADPAT drop leg platform, which I got through a trade, so I don't know the brand. It's really nice because you have two pockets on the top that leads to the inside of the platform where you could store your phone, a map, or papers, or any documents like that. On the front, you can attach almost any pouch, including this M4 pouch, which I have to uh, holster or maybe some grenade pouches. It's a great piece of equipment, especially for someone that needs extra space for pouches that need easy accessibility. I'll quickly go over my Condor double M4 pouch, which as you can see is on my leg platform. The reason why I have them down there is because it's in a great position for me to easily access my M4 mags if I need it quickly. My one last item are my Condor tactical gloves in Kelvar. It's a little pricey for these pair of gloves, but they work great and they fit nice. It's made out of cheap leather and has inserts for knuckle padding. I do recommend gloves for airsoft, but I do believe you can find a cheaper pair just as good as these ones. Thanks for watching. That concludes my BDU, my drop blade gear, and my gloves. If you have any questions, comments, or tips for me, just list them in the comment box below or just send me a message. Most of these items are listed in the description box below. Thanks again for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, if you want to go back to the menu or see some airsoft combat footage, click here now. OJ drink. Is it? Oh shit. Right side.